Good morning, guys. Good Friday morning to you. We are here this morning for Fitness Friday. And on Fridays, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time and 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we talk about all things fitness, all things fitness. So who am I? I am Kimberly Rogers. I'm your fitness influencer for Dynamic Physiques Fitness. I coach, train, and teach women how to lose weight and how to keep that weight off forever. And I'm here each and every Friday morning at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time and 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. However, if you're inside of our private Facebook group, the Superpowers Challenge, we bring you the word for the week that is on Monday mornings, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, I'm sorry, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time and 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time because we need a word to go on on Monday mornings. We just need that word, right? However, today is Fitness Friday, so let's just jump right in here and talk about all things fitness. It is Thanksgiving coming up, right, in a few more days. So let's think about some of the things. Most of us have started out on a fitness journey, fitness journey, and we may be getting a little bit tired, feeling a little bit sluggish. Do you know that that could be coming from your nutrients, um, not having enough supplements? And I want to talk about potassium this morning and how important potassium is Add it as a supplement through your nutrition, not just purchasing potassium. No, through your nutrition. So if you're experiencing muscle cramps, muscle soreness, tiredness, fatigue, it could be your potassium, your potassium. We ingest way too much sodium on a daily basis. And if that potassium sodium balance is off, yeah, our muscles are not going to receive that rich blood flow that they so need in order to give our bodies what we need, that functionality of what we need. So where do we get this potassium from? Well, it's the perfect time of the year to pick up that sweet potato, that yam, those collard greens, that spinach, those things, green beans, all of those things are, are rich, rich, rich in potassium. You know, like I said, having the right amount of potassium inside of your muscles, um, it allows for those cells not to hold on to fluid inside of those muscles. That's where that sodium comes from, right? It, it makes our muscles um, hold on to fluid. It's called fluid retention. So if it's too much fluid inside of there, potassium cannot reach the inside of that muscle to actually give it what it needs, not to be sore, not to be fatigued. Uh, so you need the correct amount of potassium and sodium balance. So what does that look like? I'm pescatarian. So I eat mostly fish, right? And a lot of my other products are just fruits, vegetables, nuts, and vegan products. Um, no other meats do I ingest. Not because I don't like them. However, they just don't function well with my body. I love chicken. I love turkey. I love poultry. Um, and I love beef. However, they just don't work well with the functionality of my body. So you have to figure out what works well with your body. Um, so going back to that, um, how do I, when I purchase these healthy products, remember there's healthy and then there's healthier. So sometimes I'm short on time and I'll go out and I'll purchase some, um, vegan patties, you know, burgers. They look like burgers, but they're actually vegan. You flip that box over and on the back is loaded with sodium and not too much potassium. So here's a clue. Here's a clue, right? So if sodium outweighs potassium over 100%, that is a big no, no. OK, that is a really, really big no, no. So you really want to start paying conscious attention to your sodium potassium intake. Right. You want them to antagonize each other. You want to push pull. You don't want sodium to just push out potassium. Totally. You just don't. All right. That causes for fluid retention and also to build bone strength. It's so important for potassium, how our bones become stronger, especially if you're 40 plus like myself, I'm 45 years old. Um, bones build strength from bone applying pressure to bone. So when we walk, I'm not going to get into the, all of the science and osteocytes and things of that nature, but bone, you want to minimize bone reabsorption. Okay. You want to minimize that. And how do you do that? By having enough potassium, um, in the body, it, it minimizes the development of weak bones. And let me just, let me share something with you really, really quickly. Um, 1912, there was a researcher, 
Um, his last name is Carey. Uh, I want to say his first name is Allen. Um, first name it could be Allen. But his last name was Carey. Okay, 1912. You can research this. He presented to the Board of Allied Health. He was an electrical engineer. And he said, you know, that the bones, the bones themselves are only... Um, about seven years old, every seven years, your bones restore themselves totally, totally. They rebuild and restore themselves. So that's why strength building and potassium is so, so, so important. So that was just a tip. All right. So listen, this has been Fitness Friday. I want you guys to stay faithful, stay fit, stay motivated. I will see you again on Monday for Word for the Week.